Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Erica and I cannot wait to jump into today's crafting tutorial because today we are doing another spooky project because Halloween is just around the corner. Today we are getting to play with some clay and making our own little ghost. So if you're ready to see how I made this adorable little ghosty, then keep watching. All right guys, so for this craft, you're only gonna need a few things. You're going to need some type of clay. I'm using some air dry clay. It said that it was white on the box, so maybe it will dry white. We will just have to see. I'm also gonna be using some wax paper. And since I don't have any like clay sculpting tools, I'm just going to work with what I got and use some of my Cricut weeding tools and we'll just see how that works out. And then we are also going to need some acrylic paint and a paintbrush later. Oh, and then you're also going to need something to cut off the clay that you're gonna be working with. And then you will also need some water to help sculpt your clay later. All right guys, I'm super stoked to jump into this, so let's get started. All right guys, so as you can see here, I've taped down some wax paper on my desk just to make it easier to clean up later. And I have gotten a big chunk of clay and now we are ready to work with this. So I'm just going to kind of smush it all together and I'm going to create a ball first. Okay, so now I have it in this ball shape. So now I'm going to kind of elongate it. So I'm just going to kind of push it. Kind of rolling it at the same time to make it more cylinder shaped. Okay, so now I kind of have it like in a burrito shape and now I'm just going to kind of smooth it out with my fingers. You may need to get a little bit of water to sculpt it a little bit better. Okay, so I kind of rounded out the top here and I have the bottom flat so that it can kind of stand on its own. So now we are ready to kind of sculpt it more into a ghost. Like I said, because I don't work with clay, I don't have the tools that you would normally use for this. So I'm just using some of my Cricut tools because I can just wash them off and it'll be fine. So now I kind of have like the general shape. So now I'm going to kind of shape him out. So I have a little bit of water over here. You're gonna wanna dip your tools and your hands in it um, to kind of sculpt out your clay a little bit better and kind of smooth it out and really just shape all that detail that you're gonna want on your ghost. So I'm just dipping my fingers in the water and I'm just kind of like, I've like hollowed at the bottom with that pencil and I'm just kind of pinching it. And as you can see, it kind of creates like an indent. So then I'm just kind of like working my fingers. I'm trying to just make it kind of look like, you know, a sheet that has a bunch of wrinkles in it, like your classic ghost would have, you know? So now that I have a general shape, I'm just going to continue to kind of sculpt away at it. Thank you. 
Guys, so now I'm taking that same tool and I'm just kind of going around and trimming the excess on the bottom. Now I'm just going to smooth out those edges. All right guys, so now I'm just going to take my tool here and I'm just poking two little holes for the eyes. Just like so. Now that I have the little eyes carved out, now we're gonna let our little ghost set for 24 hours so that it can get all dried and cured and then we will be ready to paint it and finish it up. Now that we are done with our little ghost and we're letting it dry, I decided that I want to make it like a little accessory or something. So I'm gonna make a little jack-o'-lantern pumpkin that sits next to it. So I just took a chunk of clay and I'm just rolling it into a ball right now. Okay, so now I have it in a pretty decent ball shape. So now I'm just going to just slightly press on it. Number one, to kind of build like a little flat spot on the bottom, pressing it against the table there. But then also, you know how pumpkins, like not all pumpkins are like perfectly round. They kind of have a more like flatter shape. So that's kind of what we're going for here. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this fishing line and I'm going to set my ball of clay on it and I'm just kind of going to line it up and then kind of tie it at the top to mark where I'm going to be sculpting out the lines of my pumpkin. All right guys, so here is our ghosty. He is completely dry and hardened. So we do have to paint our ghost white first. The only thing I originally wanted to paint was the inside of the eyes black and add a little bit of blush on the cheeks just to make it a little bit cuter. But we do have to paint it white first. So I'm just taking some Apple Barrel white gloss paint and I'm just going to paint our ghost white. And then once he's dry, we can add our little touches. All right guys, so now that our little ghost is painted white, now we're gonna let him dry for about 30 minutes or so, and then we'll come back and finish painting him. All right guys, so our little ghost has been drying. He is all dry, so now we are going to add our little details. So first, I'm just taking a little bit of black paint, and I'm just going to paint the insides of his eyes. Mm -hmm. 
So we have one eye. You see how much better that looks once it's all filled in. All right, you guys, and for the pink, I am doing like the lightest pink I have, and I'm going to mix a little bit of white with it. All right, guys, so now we are going to let our go set for 15 minutes or so and let the rest of that paint dry. All right, guys, so our little ghosty is completely dry now. Look how adorable. I think it came out great. So cute. Oh, and I almost forgot its little accessory, the little jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. All right, you guys, well, there you have it. I love how our little ghosty came out. It is so adorable. So I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I enjoyed creating it. If you did like it, please let me know by giving me a big thumbs up. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop a comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys think. And if you're watching this video and you're not already subscribed to my channel, then make sure you click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.